Okay, so question 153, find minimum in rotated sorted array. So we have an array that has been rotated a number of times. So here we have four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two, it's been rotated four times, so the minimum is now here. This has been rotated seven times, so the minimum is back at the start. So there is some information here about it being rotated. But what we need to do is given the sorted array nums, of unique elements return the minimum element of this array. You must write an algorithm that runs in O log n time. So firstly, this information about it being rotated is pretty much irrelevant. All we really need to know is the nums array and that we need to return with log n time complexity. We know that it's a sorted array. That means binary search. So here are the examples. Now with binary search, what we need is we need a left pointer we need a right pointer, and then we'll have some kind of while loop, which allows these to loop through each point within the nums array. Once we've created that, once we've created the left and right pointer, we need to grab the middle value in this nums array. And then in order to find the minimum, which as we can see is this, we need to compare the middle value with the right value because it contains the minimum here. So let's just say nums at right, if nums at right is less than nums at mid, which in this case it is, we want to remove a portion of the nums array so that it only contains the minimum and a shorter amount of numbers. In this case, nums at r is less than nums at mid, so allocate left to middle plus one. And then we can discard this section. Left equals mid plus one. Now we're currently on the minimum and we have only two points here. So we can say, while well, left is less than right. And at the end of this, we can return nums at left. But we still need to have an else statement just in case nums at right is greater than nums at mid. So if we look at the next example, we've got left, right, mid, the minimum value is here. So is num at right less than nums at mid? Yes, it is. So we reallocate left to mid plus one and we discard the rest. Now we've got three points left. So we need to check again, is nums at right less than nums at mid, which is going to be this value? No, it's not. So we want to contain this area here as our new search area. And in order to do that, we have to reallocate right to mid. So this goes to here, this area is discarded, and then we can return nums at left. So the else portion here, right is equal to mid. And let's just check with the last example, whether our solution works. Mid is math.floor, so it will be that point. We know the minimum is this point. So we check is right, nums at right is this point less than this point. No, it's not. So we need to reallocate right to mid. So right goes here. This portion is discarded. And then we've got left and right. And we just return nums at left. So first we need to define left and right pointers. So left equals zero. Right equals nums.length minus one. While left is less than right. If we grab the middle value, mid equals math dot floor right plus left divide by two now we say if nums at right is less than nums at mid left equals mid plus one else right equals mid and then we just return thumbs at left. Let's check to see if that's worked. Okay, it's been accepted. Let's submit it. And there you go.